Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just want to make another quick video. So the other day, I was driving my Cadillac DTS, and I noticed that the check engine light came on. So I pulled over, and I checked with my scanner, and I noticed that the code I was getting was P0420, which possibly means that your catalytic converter has failed. You have bad O2 sensors, oxygen sensors. There's some other reasons why you would possibly get this code on your vehicle. But I noticed that there was a weird sound coming from the rear of the engine. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I found. So back here on this valve, I noticed that there's a big split in this tubing right here. So this is the reason why I am getting the P0420. So I'm going to have to replace this entire valve right here. So if you ever get this code on your Cadillac DTS, uh, you know this part right here is real easy to miss since it's hidden back here at the firewall. So be sure to check this just to make sure there's not a split in it or anything like that. So since I'm going to have to replace this valve, I'm going to show you guys how you would uh, remove it. So you would have ten, two 10 millimeter nuts, one right there, and one on the other side, one right there that you'll have to fill using an extension and a, a 10 millimeter socket and remove those. And then you will have a connector right here that you'll want to pop off. And then you'll have this tubing right here with a hose clamp. You'll want to pull that off of the pipe right here. And then you can remove this valve and replace it. So if you ever get P0420 on your Cadillac DTS, uh, be sure to check this valve. Make sure there's not a split or anything in the tubing or whatever. So yeah. Okay, so I just want to show you guys real quick what the valve looks like when it's removed from the vehicle. So as you can tell right here, there's the tear in the tubing. There's a location of both of the 10 millimeter nuts that you would remove. And yeah, this is what the valve looks like with it removed from the vehicle. So I'm going to have to order a new one online and wait for it to arrive to put the new one in. This is the 10 millimeter nuts right here. And this is the tools that I uh, used. I just used these long needle nose pliers right here to remove the clamp from the holes. Pulled it off and I just used this uh, 10 millimeter socket with the swivel attachment right here and extension, two extensions and a ratchet and I was able to reach uh, both of the 10 millimeter nuts just fine. And I do wanna mention if you ever need to replace your rear spark plugs or coils or anything like that, you would have to remove this valve in order to gain access to a couple of these uh, spark plugs back here so now's a good time to replace those spark plugs if you want to all right hope you enjoyed the video